Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John with Ember Spell Pythons. Just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. This is our Living Art series, and in this episode, we're going to be covering the Bamboo Ball Python. If you haven't checked out this series before, it's all about sharing different genetics and morphs and talking about how unique they are in their own way, uh, because you know, ball pythons can just have so much variation in them and uh, it's truly a living art and we want to share them off. We haven't gone too deep into this series yet, but we're hoping to expand it a lot more. Uh, this is episode number two. If you want to go back and check out the first one, I'll post it somewhere up here above. Uh, that was covering the pastel gene and this one is special to our hearts because we love, absolutely love the bamboo ball python. Uh, we were pretty heavy on it this season, um, which was our first season. So before we ship out all the babies that are selling, <laughs> we want to make sure that we get to show them off and see what the bamboo gene can do with different uh, morphs, uh, different combinations, stuff like that. So hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and kick this off. Uh, we always like to start off the Living Art Series with a classic uh, wild type normal ball python, right? They're just beautiful in their own ways, but it helps kind of with the comparison so you can see what the, the baseline kind of is with the classic, uh, and then jump right into the bamboos, all right? So this is our, our girl Classy, right? She's a classic wild type ball python. Um, we showed her off in the first series episode. Um, and she's just been really good to us. She's been growing really well. She's gonna breed for us this season. She has proven already from a prior breeder, uh, but you can see right, right off the bat that she has just a really beautiful, rich brown and dark uh, black colors on her. Uh, normally, the, normally the classic ball pythons are gonna have a very similar repeating pattern throughout the sides, a lot of the alien heads or very just like big blotches of pattern. Uh, and that rich, you know, brown and black color palette that goes throughout the whole uh, snake. Uh, again, beautiful in their own ways, very unique. Uh, they can have a lot of variation to them, but as you can see, see if we can get a closer look. She's just doing really well, really beautiful colors. This is Classy, our classic ball python. So kicking it off with our first bamboo, this is Sparky. Uh, this is our very second ball python that we've ever brought into our collection, right after Bella, which is our pastel girl that we showed off in our first episode in the series. Uh, so Sparky has been with us pretty long time. He's kind of like our mascot um, because he is just super chill. He's like one of the nicest ones that we have. This is the guy that we take out when we have guests come in that are trying to overcome their fears or anxieties about snakes. Uh, this is the, the guy that we bring out to do the job because he is just like a little puppy, right? He loves to hang out, loves to be out exploring. Um, he's not head shy. He's just really, really cool snake to hang out with. Uh, so he'll be staying with us probably for forever <laughs> uh, because he's really part of the family. So uh, he's an adult male, uh, bamboo, ball python, no other genes in him. But you can see right, off, right away compared to Classy that the colors and the patterns have completely changed been transformed to just some really cool blushings all throughout the snake with some uh, more gold and brown type of, or bronze type colors. Um, also brings out a lot of grays uh, throughout the sides. The dorsal stripes on top uh, really get these cool blushings and kind of uh, jagged patterns all throughout the top. Really cool to see how the bamboo changes um, you know, the plastic ball python so drastically. And also with most snake uh, combinations or morphs, you'll see that they tend to come out as babies really, really bright and beautiful and have awesome color contrast and patterns. And as they age, those colors start to kind of reduce, they get kind of toned out um, and they just kind of darken up a little bit. But with bamboos, that's one of the really cool things about them is that 
they either get better or they kind of just stay they, they stay the same they hold on to that color they hold on to those contrasts uh, and it just really looks awesome I think they get better because as they age the whites on the sides I don't know if we can show that off here but the whites on the sides get so much more noticeable and it brings in that really cool side pattern um, and contrast throughout the snake which I really really love so again this is Sparky Bamboo Adult Male Ball Python so a little bit of background on the bamboo ball python. Uh, if my research has done me right, uh, I believe they were first produced by E.B. Noah in 2013. Uh, it is part of the blue-eyed leucistic complex, which means that if you breed a bamboo to another blue-eyed leucistic complex snake, you'll get a blue-eyed lucy, which is an all-white snake with beautiful blue eyes, and they are just amazing. All right, we're hoping to produce some really soon, in either this season or the upcoming one, but uh, really cool snakes, very popular out there uh, as pets and also as, as good breeders. Um, so examples of that would be uh, blue eye leucistic type snakes would be like Mojave, Lesser, uh, Mystics, right? Those are all very similar um, snakes that are in that complex that will give you an all white blue eyed snake. Uh, so that's really cool. All right, guys, so next up is Callie, and she is a Calabash Reduction Gene, so KRG, Pastel, and Chi Bamboo Ball Python. And she is very special to us because she came from our very first clutch. So she is one of the very first babies that we've produced here at Embers Ball Pythons. Uh, the only one that we've kept from that clutch, uh, she's a female, and she's just amazing. So uh, I also think that she's a world's first uh, with the KRG and Bamboo. I don't think that's been worked yet. And it's a beautiful, beautiful example of what different genes can start doing to the bamboo ball python. So right off the bat, let's see if the camera will pick this up. Uh, she is a little bit in shed, but you can see the side pattern is so cleaned up with these beautiful green flames that are very consistent throughout the whole snake. Um, I know it's kind of hard to capture in the camera, but really beautiful side pattern. And it's a very high white contrast compared to the very clean, uh, gold blushing and patterns throughout the top. All right, so the pastel Enchi does bring in some of that um, gold and bronze type tones to the dorsal stripe and the top patterns. And the Enchi does clean up a lot of those patterns, the repeative patterns that you would normally see. Uh, bamboos tend to have a lot of like floating hearts and stuff instead of the alien heads. Uh, but you can see that Cali is pretty clean, doesn't have much going on throughout the sides except those awesome flames that are coming up from the belly, taking over the white of the sides. So once again, uh, Pastel Enchi KRG Bamboo Ball Python. Next up we have Goofy, which is from our one of our latest clutches. He is a black pastel, bamboo, pet ultra male, and he's a male ball python. Uh, so I'll get a close up on this guy because he came out super awesome. If you like the darker color palettes, I mean this guy is just amazing. All throughout the sides he is like a dark rich gray uh, with the white belly and the white contrast coming up midway and a very broken up dorsal stripe pattern that gives you a lot of cool like checkers marks and different you know, circles and bubbles and um, I'll get a better close up look in a second here but you, you can see how awesome the color palette and patterns are on this guy. Really unique, black pastel, uh, really brings out some of that darkness and that richness, uh, making some really cool combinations with the bamboo. Next up is Honey Lemon, and she is a yellow belly, bamboo, head ultra male female. And 
also brought in a lot of different change and color to the bamboo. So one thing, if you haven't noticed yet, that bamboos, uh, they're very strong in their pattern and color. So when you mix them with other genetics, uh, sometimes it's really hard to tell what genes you have in that combo um, because they start to kind of blend in and look kind of look the same as just the regular bamboo. Uh, so when you start finding genetics or combinations that start to bring change and contrast and colors and patterns that are different than a traditional bamboo, it's really exciting and you kind of want to continue working that route uh, because that's what you're looking for is trying to see what else can you unlock with the bamboo genetic or, or morph. Uh, so yellow belly seems to be one of those genes that definitely start to bring in a lot of cool change, just like black pastel with that goofy, um, brought in a lot of darkness and richness to him. So yellow belly seems to have kind of lightened up some of the, uh, the colors, but it brings in a really cool pattern all throughout the sides, more floating keyholes that you will tend to see in yellow bellies a lot. Um, see if we can catch that on camera. But a really cool, like bright, uh, kind of like a gold color. It just, she kind of shines. Like she's just kind of glimmers in the light. Um, very cool pattern on top. It has a very strong outline. Uh, the dorsal stripe has a very strong black outline. Um, and it has like layers of different colors and it brings in all those floating uh, hearts and keyholes all throughout the side of the pattern. Very beautiful. Uh, so Honey Lemon is a bamboo yellow belly and she's also 100% head ultra male uh, just because of the father who was a bamboo ultra male. She is currently available as well if you want to dive into the bamboo ultra male project or have just a beautiful yellow belly bamboo. She's a beautiful girl, eating great, doing amazing. Alright, so this next little guy is unfortunately in a really deep shed. He's in blue right now, but it's looking pretty cool. It's kind of bringing in that hypo look. Um, but this is Michael Scott, right? Any Office fans out there? Smash that like button if you like The Office, because now we can be best friends, of course. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But this is uh, Michael Scott. He is a bamboo pinstripe, 100% head ultra male. Uh, he is a male, and he's doing really good. So let's get our close up here so you can see what we're looking at. But with the bamboo pinstripe, it's a, uh, the pinstripe is another one of those genes that combined with bamboo, it completely transformed the traditional look of it. You get some really cool hieroglyphic type patterns all throughout the dorsal stripe. Some really clean sides that are uh, on him are, are really like a dark gray. So all the sides normally are like a really dark and rich gray. And the top brings in this huge, like beautiful gold color uh, all throughout the top and then the pinstripes or the actual hieroglyphic markings of the pinstripes um, kind of spread out throughout the top as well. Really cool looking animal. I love the combination. Bamboo and pinstripe work really well together. Look at those dark cloudy eyes. Sorry buddy, we'll get you back in the, uh, back in the cave here in a second. Michael Scott with the bamboo pinstripe. We have his best bud Dwight <laughs> over here. Um, he is the same thing except you add one gene to it and it completely transformed the look and appearance, the colors, the patterns, everything, right? And that gene is Orange Dream, right? Don't sleep on Orange Dream. It's doing amazing stuff, not only with bamboos, but with ultramels and with a lot of different things that I'm seeing that is definitely a very cool key gene to have in your, in your collection. 
Uh, but anyways, this is a bamboo orange dream pinstripe, 100% head ultra male. He's a male. And just check this out, guys. Look at the colors that the orange dream brought in to the bamboo pinstripe. Completely changed it up from dark to very you know, bright yellows and whites and golds and just awesome color combinations. So one thing that I thought when it first hatched out was that this was a visual ultramel. And I'm on to be honest, I'm not I'm not 100% sure this could be a visual ultramel at this point. I have no idea. Uh, now I did hit a bamboo pinstripe possible orange dream ultramel visual which looks a little different. So I believe this is just the orange dream bringing in those awesome colors. So once again, Dwight's a bamboo orange dream pinstripe 100% head ultra male and he is available as well, looking for a new home if you're interested. Again, let us know. I think the last one we're gonna show off today, guys, is gonna be Angela, and she is probably the most beautiful bamboo combination that we've seen and that we've produced here at Ember's Ball Pythons. Uh, she is a bamboo orange dream, there's that orange dream again, 100% uh, head ultra male ball python. Uh, and just go ahead and check this out, guys. You can, you're gonna see what I'm talking about here, but look at those patterns and the colors and the combination that we are bringing in to the bamboo. Absolutely amazing. Got these awesome, like almost tiger stripes coming down the sides. Um, very reduced and cleaned up patterns. Um, the orange stream I've also noticed brings in like these layers of different colors and oranges, uh, starting from the bottom white all the way up to the sides. It starts to add layers and layers of just the different colors until you get to the nice top. Uh, blushings of the uh, the orange and golds and browns that bamboo orange dream brings in she is already sold she will be shipping out probably next week to her new owners her new family um, definitely going to miss opening her tub and and seeing this beautiful girl but yeah bamboo orange dream 100% head ultra male she's a female and she came out absolutely amazing Hope you enjoyed that. Comment down below, let us know which combination with the bamboos did you like the best, right? Uh, was it the orange dream bamboo? Was it the bamboo orange dream pinstripes, the bamboo pinstripe himself? Uh, was it that pastel Enchi KRG bamboo? Uh, let us know, or hey, maybe it was Sparky, just the traditional bamboo, no other jeans added, right? You can't go wrong with that either. But I wanted to hold off on some of the visual ultra male bamboo combinations that we hit, because we did hit some really cool world's first combinations with bamboo and ultramel working that together. Uh, but we're gonna do a whole series, or not a series, but a whole video on just doing some comparisons on the different bamboo ultramel combinations, right? Uh, these are a lot of the clutch mates from that project. And again, I just love how bamboo looks and ultramel is, is obviously a no-brainer. So bamboo ultramel together is really doing some cool stuff. So make sure you tune in for that next video. Uh, we'll keep you guys posted. If you're interested in any of the snakes you saw that might be available, comment down below or reach out to us on our Instagram at Embers Ball Pythons. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming videos or episodes. And uh, again, thanks for the support, guys. Thanks for the love. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Be safe and be blessed.